Hi everybody, we're going to attempt another ambitious art project. Stick with us. This is Jackson Pollock's work titled Number 11 from 1952, and this hangs in the National Gallery of Australia. And if you watch my channel, you know that I attempted another Jackson Pollock classic that now hangs in my office. I want to say something before we kick this video off. I've received some pretty nasty video comments lately, with some assumptions and disillusionment about me being some sort of expert. I think if you watch my videos, you'll know that I'm not, and I don't claim to be. I learned woodworking from my grandfather and father, and I gleaned some form of artistic appreciation and training from my mother. With that, and a never-ending interest in trying something new, I'm happy to share my journey with you, hopefully inspiring you to give one of my projects a try. To that end, I hope you enjoy my latest journey, inspired by the Jackson Pollock number 11.
So here's the original Pollock, and here's my interpretation of that famous painting. The color palette isn't the same, of course, but I think it'll be a colorful statement piece in our new dining room. It's 24 by 48 inches and fills up the wall pretty nicely. Not as huge as Pollock's number 11 in Australia, of course, but it'll fit the wall well. I am disgusted, or at the very least inconvenienced, by being asked to review another worthless piece of art by a man who calls himself the family woodworker. Once again, he has stolen an iconic image from a masterpiece by Jackson Pollock, known as Number 11, painted in 1952. This man, with the artistic skills of a banana slug, a banana. has taken something breathtaking and evocative and reduced its essence down to a raggedy bedsheet found on the floor of her kindergarten finger painting class. It is as if he had first consumed a pint of mustard, washed it down with a strawberry margarita, only to vomit that kaleidoscope onto canvas. An untrained seal with shaky flippers could have produced a better outcome. And with that said, my review? So let's talk about how you might give this project a try. I only wound up mixing my paints from these four colors, black, white, red, and yellow, and I thinned them with water a little bit because they're latex, and I needed to do that so that I could use these plastic epoxy syringes to lay the paint down. These are used in boat building and repair, but really helped me lay down very thin lines. This project came out great. I hope you give it a try. Again.